Terrible Tube, welcome back to my channel. It's already late in the month. I just wanted to come on here and share some of my March plans. Yeah, our March plans. I'm gonna tell you some of the books that are on my TBR for March, but more than that, I, well, we're going to Jamaica in a few days and we're gonna be in Jamaica for 10 days. I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done. So, but all of these are books that I kind of need to read in March. So this is pretty much a set TBR. I have a few books that I have to read for review. Salty Bittersweet by Mira Cuevas. Here for it by R. Eric Thomas. This is essays that I started reading. Oh, I'm sorry, I should tell you. This is a YA novel that I got from the publishers. This is from Blink YA Publishers. And I talked about this in my haul. I also got Here For It by R. R. Thomas. These are essays from a pretty funny writer. And I started reading this one in February, so I'm sure I'm gonna be finished this one this week. Then there's a book that I already read. So it's on my TBR, but I've already read it because I reviewed it on my blog a few days ago. This is Eat, Work, Eat Sleep, Work, Repeat by Bruce Daisley. He is the CEO of Twitter Europe, and these are hacks to get more enjoyment out of your job. Oh, I'm sorry, I should tell you that this one is from HarperCollins 1 and this one is from Rare Books. This is The Road to Delano by John DeSimone. I'm going to be reviewing this one. This is, is it crime fiction, I think? I can't remember. Mm. This one is, the synopsis says, a high school senior Jack Duncan dreams of playing college baseball and leaving the political turmoil of the agricultural town Delano behind. Ever since his father, a grape grower, died 10 years earlier, he suspected that his mother has been hiding the truth from him about the suspicious circumstances surrounding the death. I think this is Mystery Suspense and a little bit of a coming of age story. So I'm going to be reading these pretty soon. I need to review that one on the blog next week. Then there's another one that I need to review on my blog. This is One Little Lie by Colleen Coble. This is also from Thomas Nelson Publishing. And then I have the beautiful 100 Drives, 5,000 Ideas from National Geographic. These are places of interest to visit in the 50 United States and the Canadian provinces. And my husband likes to drive change that verb my husband loves to drive and i love a road trip as soon as this little one is old enough for road tripping we'll be testing some of these five thousand ideas out so those are the physical books that are on my tbr in march i also have a lot of other books that i need to read for lots of other projects i'm going to be reading the next book in the tony morrison read along i forget i forget which book is next but I'll tell you um, because I told you my goal is to read all of Toni Morrison's novels this year and I'm in a group with Hannah Joyner from Hannah's books and we're reading all of Toni Morrison's novels in chronological order of publication so I'm still finishing up Sula which was the February read and I'm gonna be reading the March book which I still don't know what it is so I'll, I'll flash it here on the screen and then there's the German read-along hosted by Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures and Brita Bowler. And the quarter book is River by Esther Kinski. I was hoping to get to it in February. I didn't. So I'm hoping to get to that in March as well as Visitation by Jenny Erpenbeck. I'd like to get to two German books this <laughs> month. And I'm reading electronic copies of those from the library. And then Jason from Byways in Bookland is also hosting a read-along of Foucault's Pendulum by Umberto Eco. And he had announced this way back in 2019, and then he changed his channel name, and I kept you know, asking, are you going to do it? Because it's a book that I want to read, and now he's doing it in March. And even though it's probably the worst possible time in terms of reading, I want to participate. So I'm going to be getting a copy. I don't have it yet, <laughs> which is weird because I've been talking about the book for so long. You would think that I would have bought it by now. But I haven't been to a bookstore in a while, man. She hasn't been to a bookstore yet. So we're going to have to do that pretty soon. But I'm going to be getting my copy of Foucault's Pendulum probably from Amazon because Amazon delivers to the house for free so yeah i'm gonna be trying to read or at least starting to read that in march 
And then there are the books for the booktube prize judging. I have six books to read. I've finished two. I'm in the process of two others and I have two full books to read. So four books to finish for the booktube prize judging in March. And those are the books that I need to read. Um, like I said, I'm also going to Jamaica and I'm assuming that there's going to be at least one book that I'm going to find at my, ch not really my childhood home, but the home where my parents live now and that I lived for a couple of years while I was an adult. I'm thinking that there are going to be some books that I'm going to find that I'm just going to want to devour while I'm there. So more on that later, but for now, this is my March TBR plans. And I told you we're going on a trip and okay so I wanted to do a Memento Mori month Memento Mori is well it has a lot of meanings there is of course Memento Mori from booktube with Adam and he took the name for his channel from a book by Muriel Sparks which I haven't read but Muriel Sparks of course adopted the title from uh what language is that is that french latin it's a saying memento mori means remember you will die and in february it was adam from memento mori it was his birthday and a few booktubers um mel brita doris from all the books and sean from sean the book maniac they are his friends and they made an announcement of a read along slash read a thon slash bingo card that we could participate in to celebrate Adam's birthday. And I downloaded the bingo card and I planned to do some vlogging to show you how I was going to meet those challenges. But February is just busy. And so I didn't get to it. And so I thought about making March just a memento mori focused month so the fact that I'm going back home to visit my family and I'm gonna be seeing things and people and thinking about things that I probably haven't thought about in a long time because it's been a while since I've been to Jamaica I just thought it would be the right time maybe to focus on you know the fact that we're not gonna live forever taking the time to do some of the things that we want to do just because life doesn't last forever man so i'm doing memento mori march is my memento mori month and remember you will die but i'm translating it to remember to live <laughs> so march is memento mori month i should have made this announcement last week that i'm going to be doing that but you know this little one she demands a lot of my time and of course we've been trying to get ready for a trip and yeah she does this when the youth group that i work with at my church we volunteer on sundays and we're pretty much all weekend but it also takes some of my time during the week so it's uh it's more than just a weekend event in any case the kids are learning drum core skills and so she's been watching them. She's been watching them learn to play this new drum. And yeah, she has started to do this. And I think it is because she's trying to get into the drum corps. You want to be the youngest snare player in the drum corps? I think so. So she's been practicing. The <laughs> drum instructor keeps saying, remember to practice. And I think this is her practicing. So we have a lot going on over here. Those are the books. Those are the life plans. Um, gonna have some vlogs on the channel. I'm gonna be vlogging my trip to Jamaica. We probably won't go to the beach just because, you know, she's young and we have to try to keep her away from mosquitoes and things like that. So I'm not a huge, besides, we're not a huge beach family, but we will probably stop at the beach at least <laughs> once. But I'm looking forward to seeing my family and people that I counted as friends and haven't spoken to in a decade. So I'm looking forward to sharing all of that with you. So I hope you will stay with me. I know February was not a great month in terms of videos here on the channel, but hopefully we'll get a little bit better with that in March. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching this video. 
and we'll be back soon for another video i have my february recap to film i'm probably going to try to film that a little later today and so don't don't be alarmed if we're still in the same clothes <laughs> so thanks for watching this video it is mostly unedited just because i don't have time to really edit videos these days so yeah we'll talk later thanks for watching i'd love to hear from you i'd love to hear the thing that you're most excited about in march and if you say it is the beginning of spring then i wouldn't be mad at you because we've been having really nice weather here in new york and we're kind of loving it like we're getting acclimatized for jamaica right so we'd love to chat with you in the comments give us a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more there'll be more and i hope you will subscribe so you don't miss it but for now let's chat in the comments and until next time happy reading happy march bye bye wave bye smile and get yes <laughs>